way. He had leprosy, a type of sin. And he's on his way. And the Bible says, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt. He hadn't been made whole yet, but he was still knowing. He had given up the world. I'm willing now to turn back. I'm willing now to turn my back on everything that brought me down. Now, I'm willing to go forward, Lord, and be your disciple the rest of the days of my life. Would you just cleanse me? And Jesus cleansed that man, and not a speck of leprosy was left on him. Now, here's what I like about the cleansing power of the cross. It don't half cleanse you. It don't get you 99. Remember ivory soap? It floats. I guess they'd come in handy. 99, 44, 100% pure. It floats. Well, I got one better. I got cleansed by 100% pure, and thank God sometimes I feel so good, I believe I can float. Hallelujah. I believe I can float because of the power of God and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He didn't save us to sit back in a corner and be reserved, well covered up, so not a body would find out that we were saved, but he saved us a week ago for it and tell the world that Jesus Christ is King of kings and Lord of lords, and he's the God of glory, and he can cleanse to the utmost and to the uttermost and to the guttermost. He can clean. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad for that today? I'm about to close. Jesus changed every life that would let him. He's changed every life. Some of them are dirty as they could be. Now just because you've never done any of these things, he said, well, preacher, I never did commit adultery. And I never did steal. I never did lie. I never did do this and that. There was a man tried that one time. That rich young ruler was rich, probably had on fine clothes. He probably was a handsome young man. And he began to tell Jesus, in the words that he said, hear exactly what he was saying. Jesus, I don't need you. That's what it sums up. He was saying, Jesus, I don't need you. He's saying, I want you. I want you. But I'm going to tell you after I get done talking to you, Jesus, uh, you'll find out that I'm, I'm already all right. He was trying to worship Jesus, but he was so far from it. Now, if he had said, Lord, whatever you have me to do, I want you above all, then he would have been worshiping Jesus as he came to him. But as he stood in the presence of Jesus, and Jesus told him, he said, I've kept those from my youth up. I'm good enough. You can't get clean enough without the blood of Jesus Christ. You can't. The law, it shows us what not to do wrong. When I go home, I'll see about three different speed limit signs. 155, 145, and 135. That tells me if I go above that, I've broken the law. It don't stop me from doing it. It just tells me I broke the law. Only Jesus Christ can stop you from breaking the law. You see what I mean? Jesus Christ can stop us from breaking the law. If we break one commandment, we're guilty of breaking them all. And there's no one, there's no one can keep those commandments without Jesus Christ. There's no way. You cannot do it. You have to have Jesus. So this young man, he didn't go away shouting like the other man did as they come to sing. He went away sorrowful, disappointed. He went away sad. You know when you walk away from Jesus Christ, 
you'll never be happy again. As you get a song and come to sing, you walk away from Jesus Christ, you'll never be happy. I've seen people get under conviction. They wept and cried, but they wouldn't go. They stayed in that seat and wouldn't go. And I've seen their life turn into misery. I've seen their homes broken. I've seen their lives shattered. I've seen them go to decent looking people so you wouldn't know them. All because they wouldn't be clean. If they would not be clean. But I thank God this morning we can be clean. Back when I was a child, I never did have it done to me. <clears throat> but I guess they did and I never seen it done. But I know they threatened if a child said a bad word, well, I'll wash your mouth out with soap. Well, you can wash it out with soap and the next 10 minutes there'll be another bad word there. But Jesus Christ can wash your mouth out. And a lot of folk today need that. Need it bad. Jesus Christ, <clears throat> if they'd let him, would wash out the mouths on television. And they wouldn't blaspheme like they do talk filthy like they do. To me, if Jesus Christ hasn't washed the mouth out, that old foul mouth and cleaned it up, you need another dip. I'm getting good now and you're getting quiet. <laughs> Let everything hath breath praise the Lord. You can't praise the Lord and the devil at the same time. I got no use for the devil. Jesus Christ is king. Hallelujah. We stand and sing today. You have a need in your life. God heal this man. God can heal you.